Greetings everyone and welcome once again to the Baptist Bread and Scripture Song broadcast for this 29th day of April. And it is Monday and we only have two more days left of this month, today and tomorrow. And then Wednesday we go into May 1st, 2024. And can't believe that April is almost over here and halfway through the year. And before you know it, we'll be in 2025 unless the rapture happens and we get caught up before then. Or whatever happens uh, then. But uh, pray Pray for this country. Pray for what's going to happen. Uh, it's election years this year, so anything could happen. Hopefully, the Lord will he continue to be merciful and and long suffering to us, and that uh, we'll get the right people in for the time being until the Lord comes back and all that. So, and uh, Amen. All right. So today's uh, topic for the 29th is titled "Divine Peace for the Believer." And before we get started on all that, I'd like to greet you as always. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And he too can be your Lord and Savior today if you're not saved. And he wants to save you. He's not willing that any should perish, but that all come to repentance. And it's your own fault if you choose to reject him and think that he's some mean, hateful God. Well, he's he is uh, righteous and he is just and he will do what he needs to do. And he's not uh, wanting to cast any of us into hellfire, but... If you reject his only begotten son, the only way to get to him, to get to God and get to heaven, is uh, through Jesus Christ. And if you think there's some other way to get to heaven, you're sadly mistaken. And you're a thief and a robber, and trying to climb up your own way will not work. And uh, the Lord will say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, for I never knew you. And um, he still loves all those that are in hellfire uh, to this day, but can't do anything for him because they chose to reject him as their savior. So... I um, hope you don't do that. hope you don't go that way. And uh, realize that you need a Savior and you're a sinner. And you're undone and dead in trespasses and sin and all that. And can't uh, can't get to heaven your own way, friend. So hope you'll call upon Jesus today. And then after you get saved, then that's just the beginning. And then you become a minister and get into the ministry. And go and tell others about Jesus and what he did on the cross for you. And then go and get into a good Bible-believing church if you're able to find one or some. A good church and the best one you can find that teaches and preaches from God's word and then get into the Bible and look at God's word and he'll teach and guide you and direct you in all the truth and show you how to be a Christ-like Christian believer as you walk with him and have a good relationship with the Lord each and every day. So and then uh, some good messages yesterday from uh, Brother Jake Jackson in the Sunday school hour and then Brother David uh, going through the book of James and I think this is third message on that uh um, book there that he did and then brother Kyle had a good message last night so check those out and I'll give you the website information there and then the YouTube channel where you can watch the video or listen to the audio for those messages from uh, yesterday so let's go ahead now and get into today's scripture song and this is from Psalm 68 and 19 so let's go ahead and look at uh, the book of Psalm 68 here and see who wrote it <coughs> if there's a psalmist so Psalm 68, let's go back here and look at this. So Psalm 68, we won't read the entirety of the book, um, there, of the chapter, but there's 35 uh, verses here, and you can read that on your own time, but I'll give you who wrote it. And this is Psalm 68, to the chief musician, a psalm or song of David. And uh, let's see here, the beginning says here, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melteth uh, before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Hallelujah. So let's rejoice. Um, and verse 4 says, Sing unto God. Sing praises to his name, extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name Jah, and rejoice before him. So that's verses 1 through 4, and then continuing on down through the chapter there, you can read the rest on your own time. But now let's go ahead and sing the scripture song uh, for today with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. All right, if we can get this to go. Oh, oh there we go. <clears throat> Psalms 68, 19. Blessed, Blessed be the, the Lord, Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, 
even the God of our salvation. Selah. That's right. Amen. Blessed be the Lord, daily loaded us with benefits. Even the God of our salvation, Selah. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits. Even the God of our salvation, Selah. Blessed be the Lord, 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 Selah. Amen. Yeah, that's one of the songs where he kind of gets lower and lower as he's singing it through. So, all right. Good scripture song there. And put that back uh, to yesterday's scripture song. And we'll do those again towards the end of the broadcast. But now it's time to get into today's topic from the Baptist Bread for Monday, April 29th, 2024. Titled, Divine Peace for the Believer. And we have here John 16.33. And... It says here, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And that's Jesus speaking there. And let's go ahead and look at John 16 in context here and see this account here that Jesus speaking. And John 16. And let's see, what was it? Verse 33. And let's go back up here, see where we can start. All right, so. Okay, so there's 33 verses. Not seeing a paragraph mark for here, but uh, so we'll go ahead, back and uh, we'll just read this in its entirety. And um, go ahead and read the whole entire chapter here. So 33 verses. We'll do this, read, read this really quick here. So chapter 16 and verse 1 says, These things have I spoken unto you, that ye should not be offended. And again, this is Jesus speaking here. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God's service. Right? So there's people out there, um, different religious groups and stuff, thinking they're doing God's service even to this day, killing believers and thinking they're doing God's service, but God didn't say to do that. So... And these things will they do unto you, because they have not known the Father, nor me. But these things have I told you, that when the time shall come, ye may remember that I told you of them. And these things I have, or I, and these things I said not unto you at the beginning, because I was with you. But now I go my way to him that sent me, and none of you asketh me, whither goest thou? But because I have said un, uh, said these things unto you. Sorrow hath filled your heart. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, and of righteousness, and of judgment, of sin, because they believe not on me, of righteousness, because I go to my Father, and ye see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged I have yet many things to say unto you but ye cannot bear them now Howbeit, when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth praise the Lord that's the Holy Spirit there for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall or you know, whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will shew you things to come he, he shall glory, uh, glorify me, for he shall receive of mine, and shall shew it unto you. All things that the Father hath are mine, therefore said I, that he shall take of mine, and shall shew it unto you. A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, because I go to the Father. Then said some of his disciples among themselves, What is this that he saith unto us, A little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me, and, and because I go to the Father. 
they said, this, uh, therefore, what is this that he saith? A little while, we cannot tell what he saith. Now Jesus knew that they were desirous to ask him, and said unto them, Do ye inquire among yourselves of that uh, I said a little while, and ye shall not see me, and again a little while, and ye shall see me? Verily, verily, I say unto you, that ye shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice, and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. A woman, when she is in travail, hath sorrow, because her hour is come, but as soon as she is departed of the child, she remembers no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world, and ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man taketh from you. And in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. These things have I spoken unto you in Proverbs. But the time cometh when I shall no more speak unto you in Proverbs, but I shall shew you plain, plainly of the Father. At that day ye shall ask in my name, and I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father, and am come into the world. Again I leave the world, and go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly, and speakest no proverb. Now are we sure that thou uh, knowest all things, and needest not to, that any man should ask thee. By this we believe that thou camest from, uh, forth from God. Jesus answered them, Do ye now believe? Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. So that's where we get our peace from, from Jesus. So that's the entirety of the chapter there. And now let's go ahead and get into the topic. Again, titled Divine Peace for the Believer. And we just read John 16, 33 in the entire chapter here. And today's author is uh, Brother David Brown. Not uh, not the David Brown from Bible Baptist, but different uh, David Brown. He is the pastor of Central Baptist Church in Decatur, Illinois. And let me read you what he wrote here on this topic of divine peace for the believer. He writes and says, Jesus made it clear in the world that we will have tribulation. However... He overcame the world. Praise God. Once we are in Christ, we will experience his overcoming power. It is our heritage as his to experience his peace and overcoming power. John wrote, This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. 1 John 5, 4b Our faith brought us into God's peace because... Christ is our peace. And it says, see Ephesians 2, 14 through 17. So let's look at Ephesians 2, 14 through 17. All right, so Ephesians 2, 14 through 17. And let's see here. All right, so 14 through 17. Let's go back to verse uh, th um, 13 here. It says, but now in Christ Jesus... Ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in him of twain one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity uh, thereby, and what does it say, uh, 17, and, and came and uh, preached peace to you which were far off, and to them that were nigh. Amen. So, and then the rest of the chapter here, uh, up to 22, 
So that's uh, that there. And you can read the entire chapter on your own time. <clears throat> now continuing on in the um, topic here um, for today. It says here, The Lord stated in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Once one is convinced that God's eye and ear are open to us, and that he is our shield, we can trust him and receive his proffered, uh, uh, proffered peace. And it says, see Philippians 4, 6-7. So let's go look at Philippians 4 and 6-7. Really quick. Look at this passage here. Philippians 4, 6-7 says... Uh, make sure that's the right one. So 4, 6 through 7. And it says here, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known, made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Amen. So that's that's passage there. And continuing on. He writes, His peace will keep our hearts and minds through Christ. And Isaiah 26, 3-4 states, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye the Lord forever. There are three areas that a believer can experience the Lord's peace. So here's the three areas. Number one is sal uh, salvation peace, and that's Psalm 38, 1-5, and verse 18, and then burden, peace, Philippians 4, 6-7, which we just read, and then getting right with God, peace, Psalm 30, verse 11, we need all three, and Colossians 3, 15, the Bible tells us, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, our peace comes from above, and from the heart of God that loves us, amen and hallelujah, so that's a good topic there. So that's where we can get our divine peace um, is from God above and Jesus. And so, and again, we need all three of these, salvation peace, burden peace, and getting right with God peace. So if you like to take notes, um, good um, topic today here and points. So, <clears throat> all right, so that's um, the end of that. I wanted to um, see something here. <laughs> There's something. All right, so yeah. All right, there's a hymn, Faith is the Victory. Maybe we'll sing that one today too. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab the Daily Strength uh, Volume 2 book by Douglas D. Stoffer and Andrew B. Ray as we are starting uh, on this week. This topic here, uh, week topic is titled uh, Fear for Week 13, and we did all the introductory stuff yesterday. So now today is Day 86, Monday titled what is fear and here we have psalm 119 120 says my flesh trembleth for fear of thee and i am afraid of thy judgments so that's the um passage there and now introductory thoughts it says the bible refers to both a godly and ungodly fear the two fears will uh, will not and cannot coexist godly fear pertains to the healthy fear involving fearing the lord Isaiah 8.13, however, ungodly fear pertains to fearing the things of this world, Isaiah 8.12, ungodly fear opposes uh, faith and can grievously affect a person, and we have the references here, Job 4.14, Job 22.10, Psalm 48.6, and 1 John 4.18, so it can affect, uh, grievously affect a person. But the fear of the Lord is founded upon faith and provides confidence and assurance. The fear of this world brings torment upon its victims, yet the fear of the Lord prolongs life. Proverbs 10.27 Not surprisingly, the world thrives on triggering ungodly fears, especially, in entertain um, especially its entertainment and news programs. God's people should avoid the worldly and made major on the fear of the Lord. That's right. So don't be uh, fearful of um, things in the world and what men try to do. And uh, we 
had an example of that way back in 2020 when they tried to um, uh, fear monger us with the COVID uh, virus and trying to tell us that everybody was going to die if they stepped out their front door. And yeah, I understand it was bad and and uh, all that, but uh, it wasn't uh, where we had planes crashing out of the sky and 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 balls of fire and all that stuff. We didn't have any of that. Um, and it wasn't as bad as everybody, uh, as the news media, news mafia tended to claim it was and all them. And, and, uh, so I had a little bit of a taste of that. And, um, all right. So praise the Lord. That's over with. And, uh, now for uh, devotional thoughts for children, it says to fear something is to be afraid of it. Memorize Psalm 56, three and quote it when you are afraid also try singing songs like jesus loves me always remember that we are weak but he is strong so let's look at psalm 56 3 since they said to memorize it and look at this psalm 60 uh, what was it psalm 56 psalm 56 verse 3 and it says uh, what time i am afraid i will trust in thee so and that's psalm 56 to the chief musician upon uh, jo Jonathan L. L. M. Kim, uh, Mitch Tum of David, when the Philistines took him in Gath. So, man, there's 13 verses of this psalm. So that's that, and that's for children, but you can apply that to everybody. And now a devotional thoughts for everyone. It says, what causes you to fear? Are you afraid of the dark, of people, of death? Or of possible troubles? How does this fear generally affect you? Do you do your fears cause you to draw closer to the Lord? What are some differences between the fear of God and ungodly fears? How does each fear change your life? Which one is pleasing to the Lord and why is it pleasing to him? So good things to meditate on and ask yourself. And uh, now for prayer thoughts. It says ask the Lord to give you the faith to overcome the fears of this world and then ask God to give you a holy fear of himself and then the hymn from the book is titled a he is able to deliver me or able to deliver so that'll lead into our hymn singing for today and we'll do three hymns since uh, um, they mentioned uh, part of that uh, hymn faith is the victory so we'll do that one also so let's see here We'll go ahead and do uh, Able to Deliver Me first, and then we'll do, um, let me look up this other one here, Faith is the Victory, so I can get that one. So, F, Faith is the Victory. Let's see, F, F, Faith is the Victory. Let's look here, Faith, 727. So... All right, well, actually, that's tomorrow's hymn, so we won't do that one today, because that'll be tomorrow's hymn, so we'll do that one tomorrow, because it's the next one on uh, in the book here, so we'll just save that one for tomorrow, and so we'll do um, uh, Able to Deliver first, and then we'll do this uh, one on David and Goliath, and then I'll let you listen to this other one on David and Goliath that I found. It's not the same one as this one, and I could not find an instrumental for this particular um David and Goliath hymn, but I did find a different one, so we'll listen to that one also after we get done with the uh, singing here. <clears throat> All right, so we'll go back to this first one. We'll do the um, one from the Daily Strength uh, book first, and then we'll do the um, David and Goliath one, and then do the let you listen to the other um, David and Goliath uh, song <clears throat> that I found because it, it was really kind of neat. So, all right, so here we go. Able to deliver. <clears throat> and this is hymn 470 in the Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book. Um, another, or one of these Help for the Saint hymns, a spiritual song written by Fanny J. Crosby, who lived from 1820 to 1915, and then Ira D. Sankey, who lived from 1840 to 1908. And he is uh, D.L. Moody's um, uh, song leader um, for a while there, and they knew each other, so... If you find any books on Ira D. Sankey or D.L. Moody, I'm sure that they spoke uh, of one another in their books. So, all right, so hymn 470, and let's go ahead and uh, sing along here. No story for this one. 
So here we go. Mm -hmm. No trouble, heart, me, I'm not afraid. In the Lord thy God, let thy hope be stayed. He will hear thy cry and will give thee aid. Whatever thy cross may be, he is able to deliver thee. And his own right hand thy defense shall be. He is able still to deliver thee. Thou be, then be thou not afraid. O troubled heart, though thy foes unite, let thy faith be strong and thy armor bright. Thou shalt overcome through his power and might, and more than conqueror be. He is able still to deliver thee, and his own right hand thy defense shall be. He is able still to deliver thee, then be thou not afraid. No troubled heart when thy way is drear, he will rescue thee and dispel thy fear. In thy greatest need he is always near, to him all glory be. He is able still to deliver thee, and his own right hand thy defense shall be. He is able still to deliver thee, then be thou not afraid. All right, well, that's not the same uh, lyrics um, I'm used to singing. So let's go back here and sing it um, here um, from the um, YouTube video here and do this version. So, all right, so this one, um, let me go try to grab this other hymn book here. Grab this one here and uh, look it up from this hymn book. All right, so he is able to deliver it. See, look it up in here. So, H, he is able. All right, 201. So, let's do this. 201. All right, so, 201. All right, so here we go. We'll do this uh, This other one here. This is um, uh, the other version of it. And this is uh, in the other hymn book, Great Hymns of the Faith. And this is one of the uh, Salvation Hymn, 201. It's titled, He is Able to Deliver Thee, uh, written by William A. O Ogden, uh, O-G-D-E-N, who lived from 1841 uh, to 1897, and so um, we'll do this version here, and let me uh, look it up here, and then we'll, and I'll give you the references for the other um, version here after we're done singing this one. All right, so here we go. Let's sing this version. Theme through the ages rung, tis the grandest theme for a mortal tongue. Tis the grandest theme that the world has sung. Our God is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. Though by sin oppressed, go to him for rest. Our God is able to deliver thee. It's the grandest theme in the earth or main. Tis the grandest theme for a mortal strain. Tis the grandest theme till the world again. Our God is able to deliver thee. He is able, he is able to deliver thee. He is able, he is able to deliver thee. Though by sin oppressed, go to him for rest. Our God 
is able to forget to deliver thee. It is the grandest theme, let the tidings roll to the guilty heart, to the sinful soul. Look to God in faith, he will make thee whole. Our God is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. Though by sin oppressed, go to him for rest. Our God is able to deliver thee. Praise the Lord. All right, so that was from the other hymn book here. And I just want to check something out really quick, make sure that there is not a version of this hymn in the other hymn book here before I give you the references for the for this one so all right so he is able let's look it up that way h so he is able let's see h e he so he is able So 470, all right, so, all right, so it is that one, so, okay, so now let me give you the references for um, the one from this book, um, the one that was written by Fanny uh, Crosby and Ira D. Sankey, and let's see the references for this one, and the uh, Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book, uh, we have here um, stanza one, we have John 14, 27, and Isaiah 26, 3 through 4, and then for stanza two, we have 1 Corinthians 16, 13, Ephesians 6, 10 through 17, and then stanza 3 is uh, Daniel 6, 25, and Psalm 1, uh, 18, 1 through 6, and then for the refrain we have Romans 8, 37, Psalm 89, 13, and Daniel 3, 17. So, all right, so that's the end of the first one, and uh, now we'll put that here, and let me go ahead and get this other him here. All right, so let me turn this down just in case there's ads on this other one. And before I read you the, the stanzas for the David and Goliath hymn. All right, so. Okay, so there was no instrumental for this one, but I'll read you the um, stanzas here. And this is another one of these spiritual uh, warfare of the saint hymns, a spiritual song. Hymn 726 in the uh, Psalms and Hymns and Spiritual Songs book, titled David and Goliath. And this is written by Edward G. Taylor, who lived from 1830 to 1887. And then William H. Doane, D-O-A-N-E, uh, 1832 to 1915. And then we have the introduction here, which um, so you won't be able to hear it unless you maybe have somebody play this for you on your own time. Um, so I thought we had... Somebody had sung this in the uh, church um, house, um, Bible Baptist Church, as a special or something one time, but i um, not sure how I'd be able to find that. Uh, but here we go. Let me read you the, um, the refrain and then the, um, or the stanzas here and then the refrain. So we'll do all four stanzas and then the refrain. So stanza one says, By the valley of Elah in battle array, see the soldiers of Israel stand. A giant Philistine has filled with uh, dismay the hearts of that brave little band. But yonder a youth is advancing alone, unarmed with a spear or a sword. He, uh, His weapon a sling, and within it a stone. He comes in the name of the Lord. Stanza 2. But the giant disdains one so ruddy and fair, and fiercely he speaks in his wrath. Thy flesh I will give to the fowls of the air is the boast of Goliath of Gath. But David gives answer, Thou comest with sword, but this let my foe understand. I come to contend in the name of the Lord, who giveth thee into my hand. Stanza 3. O oh, bravely the words from the shepherd boy ring as he meets and encounters his foe. And swiftly a messenger speeds from the sl uh, sling, and now the proud boaster lays low. Oh, loud was the shout from the Israel, or from, the, uh, from Israel came for joy o'er the brave battle fought, 
and loud were the songs to that glorious name whose power such deliverance had wrought. And then for stanza four, Thus the army of Israel now fearlessly stands by Elah's great valley today. The giant of sin is a broad in the land and meets us in battle array. We fear not the host of the tempter in sin, the promise of God we may claim. Jehovah will help us the conquest to win if firmly we go in his name. And then the refrain says, Oh, the name of the Lord is ever our trust, no other such help can afford. Our life is a warfare, but conquer we must, then go in the name of the Lord. Amen. And now let me give you the story here at the bottom and then the references, and then we'll listen to the other um, a song here about David and Goliath. So it says here, uh, Dr. Taylor was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, but his services to God would reach well beyond his native town. After receiving his training for the ministry, Taylor was called as pastor of a Baptist church in uh, Terry uh, Honte, uh, Indiana. That's T-E-R-R-E, Terry Honte, H-A-U-T-E, uh, Indiana. Uh, three years later, he became pastor in Cincinnati, Ohio. From there, the Lord led him to Chicago and then to New Orleans. He proceeded subsequently to Providence, Rhode Island, before being called to a pastorate in New York. F uh, failing health caused him to resign and travel abroad for a space of time. Upon returning, he pastored in Newark, New uh, Jersey, and then Buffalo, New York. At the latter, his labors were cut uh, short as a brief illness took him to his final rest on Sunday, April 10th. Wow, so he really got around. And then here we have another little story here about uh, uh, Dr. Taylor. Uh, it says, uh, Dr. Taylor was author of a good member of hymns, often composing melody and meter by his own hand. These often complemented uh, his work as editor of the Baptist Sunday School Quarterly and reflected a key burden of his heart. Hmm. So that's the story about him. And now there are references here. So stanza one, we have 1 Samuel 17.2 and 1 Samuel 17.4 and 1 Samuel 17.39 and 1 Samuel 17.40. And then stanza two, we have 1 Samuel 17.42 1 Samuel 17.44, and 1 Samuel 17.45, and 1 Samuel 17.46. In stanza 3, we have 1 Samuel 17.49, 1 Samuel 17.52, 1 Samuel 18.7, and then for stanza 4, we have 2 Timothy 2.3, 1 Corinthians 10.13, and Romans 6.14, and then 1 Corinthians 15.57, and then for the refrain... We have Psalm 20, verse 7, and 1 Timothy 1, 18. So that is the end of the second hymn. Sorry, there's no instrumental. It would have been neat to hear that and uh, um, sing along with that in the instrumental uh, there. But uh, let me go ahead and press play, and we'll listen to this other um, version of David Goliath. Um, this is a different one here. So um, this is uh, here, David and Goliath, a Bible song with lyrics. Um, by Shauna Edwards and uh, Christian Music 2022, titled David and Goliath, written by Shauna Edwards and Linda uh, Urquhart, that's U-R-Q-U-H-A-R-T, and then illustrated by Daryl Quinn. So there's like illustrations here on the video. So if you want to look this up, um, here we go. All right. Goliath was a mostly mean, big and burly Philistine. He wore armor everywhere and fighting was his thing. David was an Israelite, a shepherd boy who did what's right. He often turned to defend the land with pebbles and a sling. 
Praise the Lord. That's a good little song there. Hey Amen. Huh. All right. Let me see here. All right. There's a good little uh, song there about David and Goliath and Lord being on our side. So, praise God. All right. So that was a good little song there, and uh, you can look that up. I'm sure. And and uh, if you want me to send it uh, to you through message or whatever, I will be glad to do so. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and do the uh, scripture songs again, and we'll do some prayer cards. Um, well, let's do these prayer cards first, and then we'll do the scripture songs. So let's see here. We got uh, three uh, different ones today for you. And the first one here is the Kessler family, missionaries to Bulgaria. And let me show you here their prayer card there. So that's the front of their prayer card um, there. And then um, the back here, uh, the Kessler family there. And the back here says the Kessler family and their names, um, uh, Brother Danny and his uh, family. Um, so, and then their contact information is 843-476-4557. And then you have here DM Kessler six at gmail.com and then we have kessler's to bulgaria.com support address is word for the world p.o box 849 rossville georgia 30741 and then 706-866-8826 and then their sending church is calvary baptist church 256 old savannah highway beaufort uh, south carolina 29906 Eight four three five two five one one three three. So that's their prayer card information there. And then we next we have the Haynes uh, family. So I've got two different prayer cards here. I think this is I can't remember which one's the the latest one. I think this one's the newest one. But I'll show you both of these here. So I'll show you this one first. Oh, let me. Sorry about the glare there. So that's that one. Uh, let me try to get it up there without the glare. So that's. That's the prayer card there, so you can take a snapshot. And then the back of the prayer card there, so that's that one. And then this other one here, I'll show you this other one uh, here. So this is the other one, and that's the other one there. And then the back of that one, there you got that one. So um, we got here the uh, Haynes family, uh, the Joel Haynes family. And let's see him trying to see... All right, so all right, so this one is the newest one. All right, so the Haynes family missionaries to the Navajo Nation uh, since 2009, and then Joel Haynes, P.O. Box 232, uh, Ganan Ganando, Arizona. That's G-A-N-A-D-O, Ganando, Arizona 86505. Cell is 928-299-1707. And then you have Joel, Joel and Fabi at Yahoo.com. And then the back here, it's got their uh, special dates. And then their sending church is Trinity Baptist Church, 2212 North Davis uh, Drive, Arlington, Texas, 76012. And then that's www.tbctexas.org. And then the num number is 817-460-7940. Pastor Todd uh, Lassiter, and then it says here, please visit our website to learn more about our ministries, church planting, uh, Ganando Baptist Bible College, NBM Youth Camp, and Native Bible uh, Radio, and that uh, website is Navajo uh, Land Baptist Missions .com. So that's their information there, and then um, finally we have the Castle Laws. Uh, missionaries to Hawaii, and they used to be missionaries to Germany, but they are in Hawaii now. And there's two different uh, prayer cards for them. This is the this is the newest one, but I'm going to show you this old one because I like the turtle on this older prayer card there. So this is the old one here. So that's what the front of that one looks like with the turtle there in the sea. So that's their old uh, prayer card there, and then I'll just show you the back of that one. So that's their information, the old information there. I'm sure it's been updated since then, but this is the new one. This is their newest prayer card here. And the front of that one. And then the back here is uh, the back of the card. So this is uh, Pray for the Castle Laws. That's C-A-S-T-E-L-L-A-W-S. Castle Laws. Uh, missionaries to Hawaii. 
planting churches in Hawaii, Hawaii Bible Institute, European Missionary Press, and Public Street Ministry. And that's uh, Brother Thomas and Sister Angie um, Kasala. And we got here Second Timothy 2, 1 through 3 says, Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. So that's the front there. And then the information on the back. Um, here it says again, pray for the castle laws, missionaries to, uh, in Hawaii. And it says, after nearly 30 years in the European theater, now working with the U.S. military and local nationals in the Pacific theater. And it says, contact us, pastor at biblebaptist.de or www.castlelaw.com and then their home church is Branch Hill Baptist Church Pastor Joel Greer 6526 Branch Hill uh, Guiana Pike Loveland Ohio 45140 and that phone number is 513-683-3663 and then the website is www.branchhill.org and then they're sending church or send support to it says Bible Baptist uh, Missions uh, Inc. P.O. Box 17615, Pensacola, Florida 32522. And then their board, the board number is 850-474-6970. And then it says here how to pray for missionaries. And I like how they have uh, different things to pray for them for the each day of the week. So on Sunday, here's you can pray for them on Sundays. Uh, so Sunday's prayer uh, for them would be the missionary's relationship to God. And then Monday, uh, the missionary's physical and emotional health or life. And then Tuesday, the missionary's marriage. Wednesday, the missionary's ability to communicate. Thursday, the missionary's ministry. Friday, the mission uh, ministry, excuse me, missionary and his fellow workers. And then Saturday, the missionary's place of service. And those are things you can pray for for them each day of the week and of course you can always pray for them all these things every day for them so but uh he's got weekly prayer thing specifically that you can pray for for them so all right so that's the end of the prayer cards there for today and now let's go ahead and sing the scripture songs and then we'll wrap it up after that so here we go so yesterday was the 28th so let's go to the 28th here and sing these scripture songs all right, with Brother Dean and Sister Patty. Proverbs 15, 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. That's right. And before honor is humility. All right, let's sing it out. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom. And before honor is humility. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. Now today, one more time. Psalms 68:19. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Selah. All right, here we go. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation. Selah. Blessed be the Lord, who daily loadeth us with benefits, even the God of our salvation, Selah. Blessed be the Lord, Selah. Blessed be the Lord, Selah. Blessed be the Lord, all right so pray
praise the Lord. We should bless the Lord more often. And uh, so that'll be it for today's uh, broadcast. But before I go, let me give you the scripture song and then the topics for the Baptist Bread and Daily Strength uh, devotional books for the last uh, day of uh, April and then the hymns for tomorrow. So and then we do uh, uh, an extended broadcast tomorrow where I do and go through and pick some favorite uh, scripture songs from the month and do that at the second part of the broadcast. So um, if you like uh, that uh, there, um, the second part of the broadcast will be all um, singing some favorite uh, scripture songs throughout the month. So including um, tomorrow's. So tomorrow will be uh, 1 Samuel 12, 24. It says, Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he had done for you. And that kind of goes along with... Uh, our uh, topic for this week from the daily strength of, on fear and what to fear and not fear. So, all right, so that's going to be that. And then I'll give you all the um, um, new Baptist bread um, book and stuff and show you all that tomorrow there. So, all right, so that's the scripture song for the last day of April. And then the um, uh, topic for the Baptist bread for the last day of April, Tuesday, April 30th, is titled A Testimony and Brother Tim Green is the one who wraps up this month. And the passage is from John 3, verse 7. So he will be the author for tomorrow for the last uh, day of April. And then the Daily Strength book. We are continuing through this topic on fear this week. So tomorrow is going to be day 87, Tuesday, titled, Do Not Fear What the World Fears. And we have Isaiah 8, 12 through 13 is the passage there. And then the hymn for tomorrow is titled Never Be Afraid. That's the hymn from the book. Hopefully you can find the instrumental for that one. So that will be tomorrow's um, second hymn there. And then the first hymn um, is titled Faith is the Victory, which I was going to sing today, but since it's tomorrow's hymn, I'll just save it for tomorrow. And there is no um, story for this one, but this is uh, another one of these Spiritual Warfare of the Saint Hymns, 727. In the book, written by John H. Yates and Ira D. Sankey. So another one by him there. And uh, so we'll do that, uh, those hymns tomorrow. And then this is the cover of the hymn book here. This is the dark blue color here. And there's uh, two other colors. Um, there's the brown one. And then there's also a lighter blue grayish um, cover there. And then there's also the leather bound edition. And then there's the spinal edition now. So those are... Um, I'll give you the website there in a minute. And um, this is the Daily Strength uh, Volume 2 book. There's four different volumes to this book. And, and all these books can be found at MelodyPublications.com is the website there if you want to get any of those books there and other materials. So that's that. And then I also wanted to mention the Great Hymns of the Faith book. Uh, we did the hymn today, uh, Abide, Abide in, in Me uh, hymn there because there's two different uh, versions of that hymn. So that's this uh, book here. Um, that that one came off of and so amen all right and that's that book and then the um that book there and then the um scripture song book and cds can be found at www.dailyscripturesongs.com that's brother dean and sister patty runyon's website missionary support kaituma guyana so pray for them they're here in florida right now and hope and pray they can get back to guyana hopefully uh, and you can read all that uh, update on the prayer letter that they have out now. And that's on the website there. Or if you're friends with them on Facebook, you can check that out on Facebook. Or if you get, if you um, um, go to Bible Baptist Church in DeLand, uh, they sent out that prayer letter uh, through the email there. So if you missed that, uh, go back and find that on your email. So that's their um, their website there to get the book and the CDs. Or you can contact Brother Dean and find out how to get the CDs and all that, so that's that information there for the scripture songs, and then the Baptist Bread devotional book, this is from last month and this month, and tomorrow I'll show you the one for uh, May and June, and it's got a waterfall on the front of it, so I'll show you that uh, um, Baptist Bread book uh, tomorrow, and then the CD for the month of May, so we'll go over all that tomorrow there, and that's uh, baptistbread.com or www.timgreenministries.org is where you can get a subscription going for that um, Baptist Bread booklet uh, there, and it comes in a box of 10, and it's twelve ninety five every other month you get a box of those, and then um, other books available on the second website I gave you, 
So that's that. And then the Bible, the King James Bible, the Word of God. This is the first book we need to be getting into and searching out the Scripture and studying to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the Word of Truth and going to God in prayer and seeking His face and asking Him for help and guidance and wisdom, as uh, Brother David was speaking about, uh, praying for wisdom and all that. So, and, um, so that's the Bible there, the King James Bible. Word of God, and have a good relationship with the Lord also. And then if you want to check out um, uh, the book uh, that I've been reading on the other broadcast, that's the book of Genesis, part of the Christ Honoring Commentary series, and um, all Brother James's books minus that one, and the Fascinating Truths book are not in print right now, but hopefully they'll be in print again soon. But I'm sure you can probably contact the church or find a used copy somewhere at a used bookstore or go online and try to search search for one. Um, so the website for the church is www.jameswnox.org or you can go straight to the store part of the website which is store.jameswnox.org and uh, find all the um, books that he has in print right now and other material and listen to his uh, messages and then the messages from yesterday from Brother David and Brother Kyle Hillman and then Brother Jake Jackson in the Sunday School Hour. So amen and praise the Lord for all those uh, messages there to help us to grow and to be better Christians and to have a good, solid walk with the Lord and all that. So, all right. And then the um, uh, broadcast, if you don't have Facebook or you know somebody doesn't have Facebook, you can direct them to the YouTube channel, which is Ambassador for Christ Broadcasting, or typing in Baptist Bread Broadcast and look me up that way and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting these up on the YouTube channel. So, and uh, feel free to share these with uh friends, family member that uh, might like devotionals and all this stuff. So, And hopefully it's encouragement and edifying to you in some way. So praise the Lord for these men that write these devotionals and Brother Dean and Sister Patty and um, Brother Stoffer and Brother Ray and all their um, uh, books and stuff and these hymn writers throughout the years and centuries and decades. So praise God for all that. All right, well, that'll be about it for today. So thanks for watching and may the Lord richly bless you until next time. Bye-bye for now.